Welcome to Spit Bucket. Today we've got something really special. We're here at the Cloudy Bay Retirement Cal Village. <laughs> Otherwise known as Dog Point. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist that. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> James Healy. <Hill. laughs> Welcome to Spit Bucket. <laughs> I, I think I thank you, Ken. Yeah. Your Zimmer frame's <laughs> around the back. <laughs> I couldn't run it. Sorry. Righto. Now, well, you guys did have the, I mean, you were basically the, the core of Cloudy Bay for many years and you've kicked off now and set up Dog Point. Tell us about Dog Point. Uh, Ivan and I and, uh, and Kevin Judd worked together for, for many years at yep. Cloudy Bay. And yep. um, when Ivan, Ivan and I, I think we, we got to a point in our lives where, where, where I mean, our children had grown up and left home. Mm -hmm. And we sort of, we'd always talked about doing doing something like this really we talked about it for years yep. and it was and it just kind of been to that we got to that point in our lives and it seemed crazy but we were both you know we, we, we were both over 50 and we just thought well this we didn't feel we didn't this is a long time ago we didn't feel well you know I mean we Sometimes didn't it's too we easy, didn't isn't it? well no we just we, we just thought we'll just do it yeah, yeah. and so we did it yeah, well we just, I mean and it's it's been wonderfully successful well I don't know how successful it's been we 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 enjoy it right. a lot well, yeah, the I mean, wine's done got a great it. reputation. You're well known around the world. You, you, know, you have a lot of fun. We do have a lot of fun. Well, it's you know, I mean, yeah, I mean, we're basically just doing doing it the way we want to do it. Being being Marlborough, savvy's extremely important to you guys. Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> of course I mean, it is. <laughs> what the? Over the year, when, well, when I, Ivan and that I, was I, a cue I, for you to take on and explain all you. Okay, I, I've not a, bag the Aussie. I'm not doing that. <laughs> the, uh, I would changed? never do that. I What's love changed? Australia. I love Australians. Oh, I do. <laughs> Honest. We should look at it while we're talking. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's do it. Our vineyards are in the in the southern areas here of the Wairo Valley. So yep. there's a lot of clay in the soil. So that we've found over the years that naturally gives the wine quite a citrusy flavour. Yep. Yeah. It's, and, it's, it's, uh, it's the exuberant fruit style, more mm. so than the, the herbal, sweaty other end of the yeah. world. Yeah. Yeah, um, we we um, the vinification is pretty straightforward. We just uh, everything is hand picked. Mm -hmm. We're careful with cropping in the vineyard. If this, if if if, uh, if if the crop is too high, we'll we'll control that. Mm -hmm. We grow it on two canes, which mm -hmm. is which is a simple way of keeping the crop at a moderate level. Yep. Uh, we hand pick, whole bunch press. We make it in a pretty much standard fashion, I suppose, except that about a quarter of the wine we we don't add yeast to, so it gets a an indigenous ferment in tank. We've is that, been doing is that what gives a little bit extra texture? Well, it does give it texture. Yeah. It gives it a um, the, the those portions that we make like that have have quite a minerally, I wouldn't say meaty, but a but a but a kind of a minerally slightly floral character, mm -hmm. which adds something to the wine that we like. It gives it a textural and an, and an aromatic and a flavour addition that we like. But also, that's that sort of wine making we've we've found really sort of shows up in the wine a little bit when it's been in the bottle for a year mm -hmm. or two. What we try and do with, with this Sauvignon Blanc is, is we try and make a wine that will age okay. respectably in the bottle, whereas yeah. we, we don't see it necessarily as a wine that needs to be consumed immediately. And when we go back and have a look at some of the older ones we've made, mm -hmm. the 2006 at the moment looks yeah. absolutely fantastic. It, it looks as good now, yeah. it, but it's different, but it's sure. aged well. Now, but, you've got a grown up savvy for us too. We have a, uh, we've got a, uh, a grown up Sauvignon Blanc. You know what I mean. <laughs> I love meeting you. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. He normally waits until just after a bled is low, so he's got something to kick me about. Oh, yeah, I know, but you never, you never know what's, I mean, you have no clue. I mean, it's like the World Cup coming up. The one team that we're terrified of is Australia. There's, there's the reason. French could do it, anybody, mm. I suppose, but the one team that we suspect and it's done it so many times in the past. We're just here to help. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're, hey, we're, 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 listen, we're, I spent last night with red and black face paint cheering for the uh, Crusaders against the Waratahs because, as any good Queenslander knows, the team that one must hate most on the planet is the Waratahs. <laughs> you don't believe me. I don't you, ask, you ask Clive. <laughs> Clive's from New South Wales. He was very upset. <laughs> Sorry. And, and, you were and you were painted oh, up. I was just cheering. Oh, see, red and black for the Crusaders. Oh, far out, of Absolutely. course. I hadn't put that together. No, no. Yeah, so you haven't changed Listen, since if, yesterday. If Bin Laden had a team playing the Waratahs, I'd be cheering for them too. 
then you reckon that's not going to get cut. <laughs> Sorry. It's unlikely to get through. It would be good if it did. Um, well, yeah. Section 94. Section 94. This is your... The name relates to a, a very early survey title of where this block of grapes is on the vineyard. Okay. It's Sauvignon Blanc. It is. Um, it's grown exactly the way we would, we would grow any Sauvignon. In the um, vineyard. In the vineyard. And then things We pick change. it, it changes in the winery, we press it slightly differently, yep. we do it a little bit more lightly so the juice itself can be more delicate because mm -hmm. after that the vinification gets pretty extreme. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we just press it directly into barrel from right. the press, yep. no, nothing happens in between. Mm -hmm. um, and we no yeast at all. Mm -hmm. It's an indigenous ferment. So and it's the wild ferment, ferments inside the barrels with yeah, a bit of leaves. They're all old barrels, that's yep. important. No new barrels. Sure. And But the fermentation can last up to 14 months. Oh, really? Yes. Really? Gotcha. You did? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, sometimes yeah. longer, sometimes 16. Is that right? You get okay, the odd barrel, yeah. And the big thing about baking this wine is not to worry about when that happens. What you get with that sort of vinification is you get a really strong stamp from the yeast, a lot of minerality, mm. and a, a lot of creamy, creamy a lot texture. of yellow fruits, mm. very grapefruity, lemony flavours. Mm. I've told you this before. Um, well, I may not be the, the most enamoured person of savvy in the entire world. You have told me that before. Um, but if any wine ever got me across to the dark side, this is the one. This is. You can well, take I that how you like. I, I, that, I uh, hope you're coming over. <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs> we think it's a great style. Yeah, it, I mean, oh, yeah, it's, it's yeah. a hugely brilliant wine with food. We've found now, and what salmon? Yeah, anything the usual suspects. Oh, but but pork. Sorry, sorry. Oh, no, go back to salmon. Salmon? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I've got to show you. It would be almost as good as that fish. Yeah. James, thank you so much for coming on Spit Bucket. It's been a great pleasure, as always. Any questions you've got about Dog Point, anything like that, uh, the two him. savvies, send them in, we'll pass them on. Remember, we spit so you don't have to, and cheers. Now, they've got your Zimmer frame round the back, so you'll be right. Thank you, Ken. I feel very complimented. <laughs>